Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to My Lovely Daughter. Previously, we got a couple more endings, where we're having a difficult time actually making a lovely daughter. So, for the most part, everything's pretty much done. We have almost all the homunculi, except for the generic failed ones. Uh, we are set up for another ending, Anger, and... We have a bunch of homunculi um, on their way to being ready to get ready for the next ending. And we pretty much don't have to worry about money. All our villagers are maxed out. We don't have to do their requests unless we really need the money. And almost all our memoirs are full. Except for two pages because we are missing two villager events. So we're going to start working now. Till we get to week four is now... Oh, maybe I don't have to wait till the next week, then. Let's try. Two strikes after ritual. Okay, yeah. It don't make it that easy. Only you, Faust. You are the only one who wants to deal with me. Your homunculi have been helping me work. That is the reason I gave you that doll you asked for for free. I will help you with whatever you need. Could they hear that? My homunculi will always be ready to help you. So, for the most part, we don't really need to worry about anything. If I get new letters, if I see new scenes, then that's what you'll see. But now, the job part is pretty much all going to be jump skips. After all he's been through, Faust finally remembers everything he had forgotten. Memories flood his mind. Glimpses of his past flash in and out, revealing the answers he's been searching for all along. His arrival in this village, his sick wife, his meeting with Master Warlock, his wife's funeral, his homunculi. Everything is crystal clear. And most importantly, he remembers who took his daughter. Well, let's check this. Before I do that, let me do these requests, which I took for the hell of it. There was just a few pages towards the end. July 29th, this is right after they moved. Life would be so much better with my wife here. It is so lonely with only two of us. People from the village seldom visit or ask for help anymore. With plenty of time on my hands, I decided to play around with the homunculus summoning process. The results are almost unbelievable. The living homunculi not only have humanoid shapes, but they also have emotions. What a monumental breakthrough. Soon the daughters start helping him, and here is... Ooh, November 4th and then March. We got a little bit of a jump here. This is nonsense. He said it was my blood that he wanted. I have been tricked. Oh. So daughter has his blood. I cannot accept this. Why did he take her soul? It was supposed to have been mine. Everything that I have done was for her. Why did he not just leave us alone? Why did he do this to my me? Just let me die. Bring my daughter back. She does not deserve this. It was my fault. And that leads into that. So let's go quick summary of the timeline. So he moves in his place. Makes potions. So he's a potion maker. Something goes wrong. He's exiled to this place. Let's see, they lived there for a week. They lived in a crummy house. Wife and daughter are miserable. Starts opening up some medicinal business. Po people don't like potions. They go over to alchem uh, dark alchemists and shamans. I think that one guy we have to deal with is actually one of them specifically. Let's see, and then his wife gets an unknown disease. Things just start going downhill. Does that maybe turn a dark magic? The shamans will not work with him. Well, illness gets worse. The Master Warlock comes. He looks obviously Master Warlocky. Offers to teach him dark magic and forbidden alchemy. He makes a pack with the Master Warlock. And that the price is my own blood, which he interpreted the wrong way. It's actually kind of easy to interpret the other way when you actually read it. It says the price of my own blood. So it actually does sound more like a ladder than it is what he thought it was, in my opinion. So he starts making homunculi. They're very simple. Starts selling to people and stuff. Starts making Healy potion potions. Brings his wife and daughter to the Master Warlock. 
wife eventually is going to pass away. Lauren starts learning spare homunculi. Wife passes. Moves into this fancy house. They start working together to make fancy homunculi that we see now. And eventually the daughter's soul is claimed. And that's the story. Time to read letters. Lots of them. So I'm just gonna click through these. It's better for me that way so I don't have like reading something I've read before. These are new though. So are you. New. So you all have new ones. But if you're like a previously done homunculus, I'll click, click, click through them. And I'll just go to the journal and see if they're new. Salad bar. Dear Daddy, everyone says that you treat us like you treat your own daughter. I want to say thank you for everything. Even though I'm different from my sisters because I only eat vegetables, you just keep loving me. Salad bar eats vegetables. Dear Daddy, I'm starting to wonder where my sisters keep going. I was so sad when you said that our lifespans are short. I hope that can make you happy before I die. I will make you proud of me. Your lifespans are exactly four weeks. Unintentionally. I, I know the truth. I have seen what you did. I only said, ask that you remember our bond. You remember how I am always loyal. You remember that I love you. Do not leave me dead in loneliness. She's gonna have some kind of custom death. He's gonna like make her in a salad. That's how Faust operates. He's gonna put her in a salad dicer or something. Hello, Dad. Life is so terrible. You never spend time with me. How can I grow tall and strong without words of encouragement? You should talk to the plant lady, Dadley. She knows how to treat plants properly, third time. Hello, Dad. You have not been nicer to me, and the plant lady said you will not talk to her either. Why do you make my life so difficult, Dad? There's something you do not like about green. You're green? Oh yeah, you got leaves. I'm sorry that I complained so much. I did not mean to make you unhappy. I just want your attention, Dad. Please do not hurt me. I just want you to love me. Do not leave me alone in darkness. And time's up. Hello, Father. Forgive me. Because of me, of all the houses covered in sand. Not only that, I cannot even move on my own. You always have to help me. I tried to roll myself, but my glass body could not hold. Hello, Father. My sisters helped me find a way to move. I spread some of my sand in front of me and I tried to wriggle out. It might not be comfortable for me, but at least there's some progress. It's all thanks to my sisters. Hello, Father. My sisters are missing. I looked for them, but they are gone. I saw my new sister, but where am I the old ones? Where are the sisters help you find a new way to move? Oof. That's bad. And let's get rid of their unique gifts. And blow for all the work days. No new letters are gonna come in until the next set of daughters. No new custom gifts are needed, no nothing. And we've got all the villager dialogue, so essentially there's no reason to talk to anybody. Alright. Week four. Do my chores. We'll come back to that mirror, because we're gonna have to take out a lot of monkey lie again. Come on, you. Time to infuse. and looks upon Frost fiendishly. Suddenly with all her might, she pounces on him, knocking him to the floor and attacking him vengefully. Surprised by her ferocity, Frost is driven to the edge of his life as he gasps for air. At the end, Frost proves a stronger. After a tiring battle, he gains the upper hand and ties the girl down. Whew. However, she shows no remorse to accuse Act the Demon, always growling and wriggling forcefully whenever Frost approaches. Frost comes against the experiment of failure. He extracts her soul from her body and puts it back to the soul chamber. So that was anger. So we gotta do sadness, and then I think we gotta do everyone at half full for like a balanced daughter, maybe. We need some numbers down here. They have interesting ranges. Well, time to do the business that we dislike, but we have to do. Goodbye, time's up. Oh god, sand's falling apart. 
Faust likes her. She does not talk much, even though Faust always helps her move from place to place. Though the first daughter he likes. Now it is time to kill her, he puts the girl outside in the rain. Sand drips off her body and she soon disappears. Looks like the last didn't help much. Alright, it's gonna be the third time. Eh, good wood. Quite a bit of it, too. Salad bar. I'm curious to see if there's a unique one for this one. Thank you for everything. It's been a great journey. No, it's just a chop chop. Foss feels that the homunculus looks old compared to the others. He dislikes her, seeing her as imperfect. Now that the time has come, he hastily takes an axe, chops her down, and throws her in the trash. Leaving her a cycler. Thanks for the berry, Faust. Why me? This is the second time I've gotten rid of you. Yep, now we just gotta wait for another three weeks. Well, four. Next, next time we only have to kill four daughters, thankfully. Ugh, that's not getting much better though. Soon I'll have her back. So we'll make another mermaid, as we already have two sets of your dialogue. Let's see if we can get the third one. Like I said, I'm not sure what the the thing is to get each one. It might be completely random, it might be some kind of subtle change. Alright, and chips. That was joy. Well, it doesn't really matter what set we make, actually. So we've got all the ones where we have to max out the specific ones, so it's just a matter of making a range. <laughs> Actually, no. No. <laughs> uh, references. Ah, whatever. I'll just go with this. I really want to get a new mummy dialogue. I'm just kind of picking, like, the best daughters I thought, like, as far as personality went. Show no depth. Hello? The not so subtle nod to a certain anime. Again. Alright, like I said, I'm just going to click through the letters, and then I'll go back to the diary and see if there's anything additionally added. <laughs> so the team got a new set. Hello, old man. The moment I was born in this world, and I felt that I was not part of it. I feel that I belong somewhere else. Thank you for bringing me here, but perhaps it was a way to send me back to my real home. Hello, man. I've been reading some of the books in the house. Now I feel even sure that I do not belong here. I'll do my best to help you, but please help me return to my original world. 
The old man, I was wondering why my sisters are missing. Now I know what you did to them. It seems that you are freeing them from this place. You must be sending them back to a better place. I'm ready to go back there too. So you kind of look like you look like an anime robot girl. Is that why? You think you're from there? We got a new mummy one. Here we go. I learned that you send off the dead only once a month. It's good that you treat your deceased with respect. But why, when I have passed up in turn, do you not take better care of me? Where have all my treasures? I want them back. My Hime Sama's a mummy. And she's a homunculus. It's a lot for a land title. Doll was the same. Hello, man. I see my old treasures in this hobble. They also cannot be in that dirty little pit they call town. How can this be? My real father provides for my afterlife. What have you done, you fool? You cannot be my real father. I know now that you cannot be my real father, yet you somehow have the power of a high priest. I was wrong to speak harshly to you. I know what you are trying to do, but a princess is not suitable. You must use lesser daughters to fuel your rituals. Mermaid is still the same. So we need personality too. I think it is completely random. This is like what room you put them in. Something silly like that. Alright, week four. Time to infuse again. The girl suffers from a depression, always in a corner, crying for no apparent reason. She stops only when her tears run out. Foss tries to talk to entertain her, but she does not respond. She eventually locks herself in a room so she can wallow in her sorrow about Foss' interference. Unable to take any more, Foss breaks open the door, which only makes the girl cry even louder. Foss comes to consider experiment of failure. He extracts the soul from her body and puts it back into the soul chamber. Now we just need one of each. So we don't need to sacrifice all the homunculi. We just need to sacrifice some of them. So you will stay, actually. Mermaid, I mean, and chips, you will be going. I'm sorry. Man, I'm going to have a lot of trinents after this. Ready. Just need to get to that next week. And we'll be good to go. Time to make new homunculi. And for the most part, it's just basically you'll be the same set. So I'll see if I can just finish off some of them, the bare minimum. All right, Tridents. I'm gonna put you in different doors. So that has an effect. Ime Sama.
I wanted to call you something like last boss of Aladdin, but I don't think they'll let me do that. And one more. All right, are we? Good to go. All right. Do my errands. And we'll get all the letters, and once again, we'll see if anything's new within the book itself. Spiky did get a new one. And we had to type three. My spikes keep falling off at random times. I don't know how to stop them. If this continues, maybe I'll have no spikes soon. Then I will protect myself. Help me, Dad. Today I noticed that one of the villagers was picking up spikes that had fallen on the ground. Why would he do that, Dad? Is he planning something? What if he takes all of my spikes? I should stay away from the village just in case. I think it's that no one steps on them. I heard my sister crying last night. Did the scavenger take something from her, too? That man is up to something. We should have him arrested, Dad. Well, then can we all be safe? No, that was just me getting rid of your daughters. Well, we got all the mummy sets. So we have set one, actually. This place is such a disgrace. I don't belong here. I was born to be a queen, with a castle and a hundred of slaves. Old man, you have to help me find my true heritage. I have done the jobs as you requested, but you have not helped me find my true heritage. If you do not help me, I swear I will leave this household to find my true home myself. Do not make me ask you again. Your Highness. He knows how it changes. Now I understand my place. You are the king, the one who controls it all. It is not my place as your slave to demand anything. I know what happened to the others. I am sorry I tried to run away. Please forgive me. Yeah, look, it's a little subtle thing, like how it switches from father to old man. Sometimes. Old man, dad, your highness. Mermaid is still like the same set, so I don't know what, what we have to do with that. Like I said, it, it might be just a one out for each chance. Alright. Week four. You don't need treatment, so let's just infuse you right off the bat. Here's what this ending's gonna be like. The girl is alive and well. However, it seems that her mind is divided into civil consciousness, all of which vie for control. She constantly appears to be arguing with herself. And we should have just settled with the perfect daughter. She even passes out at times, when her alter ego's conflicts speak. Peak, rather. Even when awake, talking with her proves difficult. Her response is completely unpredictable. It makes Foss feel like he has multiple daughters at once. Foss comes to consider an experiment of failure. He extracts a soul from her body and puts it back into the soul chamber. I think I've already discovered the correct combination of affinities for my daughter. All I need to do now is empower her soul according to my notes. What do the notes say? A number between 699, 712, and 494, and 658? Gotta start doing fractions here when we sacrifice our homunculi. <laughs> That's why it has like a little tab here that shows you like what each level gives you. So there is advantages to mixing and matching high and low level um, ingredients because it gives you like different fractions which we may need to actually, I'm not sure we have to exactly hit or just be in this general range. So, mirror mimicry. So looking at these ranges, I have an idea what I gotta do. Um, I could start sacrificing homunculi now and getting ready a new set, but that actually would not benefit me because then the homunculi would give me way too much in infusion. So it's better for me to actually save everyone till the week four, sacrifice everyone at least once, and then make some quick small homunculi and kind of tweak the numbers with the burning of gifts. Seems like is the best bet because essentially I have enough. Uh, materials here where I can 
easily just kind of do everything in one go once I hit week four again. So let's just keep working after I hang out with my children. Whoa, what? There's giant crows out there. That's weird, man. Stop that. That's still really weird. <laughs> Cut it out. Alright. Week four. Let's look at our numbers. Let's figure out our map. And all that stuff. Your mimicry. Let everyone up. So, on the most basic level... We need to sacrifice at least one of every affinity. So let's get chopping. Boy, this is really familiar. How many tridents we have now? So while I get the right combination, there'll be probably a little bit of a jump skip going on. Looks like Titanium's gonna probably be the only one that's not gonna be needed to be killed. Because you're gonna put me over the limit. But I can do that theoretically, and then mine it down with gifts. We'll see. So you might not be safe yet. We'll see. We'll see. Alright, so I've got it within these ranges. I'm not sure where in the spectrum of the ranges they are, but I was just assuming, based on their starting number, that as long as there's no overlap, like this had the lowest starting number, and it went up to about like 600 or 550, as long as it didn't quite get too close to this, I think, and to this and then to this, I think that's the goal. We'll try it. If it doesn't work, then I'm in for a lot more grinding. Yep. Wish me luck, everybody. Here goes nothing. Hopefully this is the final infusion. We did it. I just saw Chivo pop. The ritual has ended, but nothing seems to change. Her body is still rigid. Just as Foss thinks all hope is lost, her fingers twitch a little. Foss' anticipation reignites his confidence. A moment later, her eyes blink and a moan escapes her mouth. Slowly, she utters, F Father. Unable to believe his eyes and ears, Foss kneels and cries in overwhelming ecstasy. They embrace each other for an endless time. Foss's mind wanders. All he has been through, everything he has suffered, the whole tragedy of his life, none of it matters anymore. He wants only to enjoy the moment until a sharp object pierces him. Foss falls down to the floor, blood spilling out around him. What has happened? Anxious and scared, he looks up to where his daughter is standing over him. No, 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 it's not possible. How can this be? I mean, you are a terrible father. The moment she crouches down and takes hold of his hand, Foss can clearly see that her eyes, they are not Arya's. They belong to the Master Warlock. Disguised as Arya, he chuckles as he lets Foss plunge into the pool of his own blood. So why never make a deal with evil people? The Master Warlock speaks magical incantations, whilst Foss's consciousness began to fade out. He can barely feel his own body. Oh, it was a shopkeeper. Of course it would have been. The one we saw coming. A faint voice rings through the room. Hello, old friend. It seems so distant. Foss feels so light. Almost as if he's floating. 
as if some magical force is pulling him up. Then everything goes bright. His time has come, he knows it. But he's not ready. Not until he puts everything in the right place. So weak. So tired. Voss does not want to wake up yet. But someone keeps shaking his body. Slowly he opens his eyes. He is a woman. Knowing she is no angel, Foss realizes he's still after alive after all. Would I look different? But for what for? The Master Warlock took everything away from him. Even his body is not his own. Nevertheless, the woman is tending his wounds, preserving his body. Her care instills some spirit into him once more. Oh no, what if it's a cycle? Warlock goes and makes people like, do this stuff. Maybe, we'll see. To repay his debt, Faust helps her with his alchemy and sorcery skills. With a monkey lie in her shop, it becomes the most successful business in the village. Left with only one reason to live, Faust plots how to exact revenge on the Master Warlock. But he's nowhere to be found. No one has even heard rumors of his whereabouts. Faust knows he will show up eventually, and he must be prepared. Faust sets out on a journey to ho home his magical power. After years of study and effort, he becomes a truly powerful wizard himself. His fame spreads across the country. People start referring to him as... The Master Warlock. Hmm. Same headband as his daughter. At that moment, a bolt of lightning strikes his mind. He remembers that he has never forgotten how the Master Warlock tricked him, and how the Master Warlock took his daughter's soul. He remembers how he hates the Master Warlock, and now he realizes that he himself is the Master Warlock. He has unmatched power. Immense knowledge of alchemy and dark magic. However, his life will soon end. Finally, he understands why the Master Warlock took his body. He understands why the Master Warlock put him through hell. Realizing this truth, he now has to choose. Will he bring misery to his past self to maintain his power and wealth? Or will he let young Faust live with his family and achieve happiness? With more time, he is convinced that he can keep his power and wealth while still being able to save his own family. He only needs to ensure that he can prolong his life, to ensure that his life will be written the way it was before. He starts his gambit. He contacts his old friend and savior to set the plan in motion. Oh, that's... So the woman who saved him is the shopkeeper from the current time. That's why she just aged up. Slowly but surely, the story is rewritten. He needs to make sure that Foss is mentally broken. He starts by poisoning his wife, then he takes away his daughter. He uses both the wife's and daughter's soul to strengthen his own weak soul. Then he continues his act, thinking he can save time and extract young Foss's soul after the devastating event. But Foss's will is to live is still strong. Is then he realizes that the young Foss has gone insane, but not because he lost his loved ones. Instead, it's because of the hatred that Foss has for himself, the Master Warlock. He now understands that his drive to move forward is not fueled by care for his family by his ego at being tricked. His failed attempt to extract young Foss's soul has made his power weak. He has only enough energy for one more extraction. He places Foss's daughter's body in the bed and prepares to extract his own soul. To ensure young Foss will take care of his soul, he erases Foss's memory of the past two years and puts a spell on young Foss's book to give him direction and purpose. Then he extracts his own soul into the soul chamber. The young Foss wakes up not knowing that a circle of damnation will repeat itself. The end. So let's look at the gallery. We're missing one CG. Huh. Oh, these are some of the other... I know what these are. This is probably an ending where the daughter just rots. This one... These two are kind of like also kind of failure state endings. Ah, I see. So anyway, that is it for my lovely daughter. So you see in the big twist, the whole thing is a self-condensed time loop. Where Foss... I mean... I do wonder if he lived on in his daughter's body. Or did, was there some failure or something? So where did he... Maybe he went back to the future? With his daughter's body? And his new young soul? Because... Foss says that the Master Warlock and their assistant, who is the shopkeeper, disappears, never to be seen or heard from again. So, 
I'm only assuming that's about the only place I can go, aside from the ritual failing, so I guess Foss goes back into the future. Lives out the rest of his life in his daughter's body, and then past Foss gets bitter, becomes the Master Warlock, goes back in time so he becomes the Master Warlock, takes his daughter's body, goes back to the future, and then I, just guess, I guess they just live out their life. So it's some kind of weird, inverse, evil Samurai Jack storyline? But some other stories that are also like deal with that kind of future self coming back time loop stuff. Um, I, I won't say which ones. They're probably obvious, but I don't want to spoil them. But it's a cool ending. It's not hugely so shocking. Um, it, it's a little convoluted to be kind of like a big whoa twist. It's it's kind of interesting and kind of fun. But aside from that, like you know, you can't really come much on much else as of the writing or anything. The writing is straightforward and it is what it is. Uh, it works well for this game, and it kind of gives you motivation a gate vision to move forward, and makes it feel sad about daughters. The rest of the game is fairly semi-standard, kind of unique life sim. It, it's standard in some ways and unique in others. Uh, overall, for what this game is, I, I would say it's a legitimately pretty good game. It could probably use like maybe some more unique CGs and kills for some of the daughters, but aside from that, you know, like there's a big variety of them. Uh, they all have unique letters and stuff, so there is still quite a bit of attention to detail put in the game, aside from that. But yeah, that's all about all I can say for this game. It speaks for itself. Anyway, so thank you all for watching me play My Lovely Daughter. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.